Hi, this is Margaret from Noble Desktop, and today we are going to look at pasting and removing attributes in Premiere Pro. You can do many things to one clip and decide that you like it and simply want to add it to another clip. So here we have the same view of this shot. I'm going to say for this shot I'd like to enlarge it a bit. Maybe I'm going to rotate him just a smidge for a little bit of stylizing. And then perhaps I'll go and visit my Lumetri scopes. And I'm going to just use the curves and just boost up the shadows a bit, boost up some of the higher midtones there. So I've made these changes to this shot. I made changes in motion. I increased the scale and, the, and changed the rotation. And I also made the changes in color, the Lumetri color panel. So I have another view of him here. And in this view, I would like it to match the color, but I don't want to change the scale. I want it to remain as the scale that it is. So what I'll do is I'll say copy, command C for copy, and then I'll go over to this clip and I'll control click and say paste attributes. The keyboard shortcut for pasting your attributes is option command V. So I have what I have has is been indicated. Motion is checked and under effects Lumetri color is checked. So the, those are the two things that I have the option of adding to that other clip. I've already decided that I just want the Lumetri color brought over, the, the, that slight color balancing I did but I don't want to change the scale. So I'm going to uncheck motion. So what's going to happen now is the only thing pasted to that clip will be the Lumetri color. So not the motion has been brought over, but the same color quality has been. But I kind of regret changing the scale of this. I wish this scale was as it originally was before I made the changes. So I'm going to control click on this and say remove attributes. The keyboard shortcut for removing your attributes, Option, Command, X. Now there's been a couple of things done to it, Motion and Lumetri Color. And by the way, the opacity and the time remapping are defaults that sometimes they'll be defaulted on and sometimes they won't be. I haven't put opacity on this. I, I haven't changed the re time remapping, anything like that, yet it's checked. So just leave it at a um, big question for Adobe to ponder. So I'm happy that with the color correction, but I, I, I want to remove the scale, so remove attributes. I'm going to uncheck the Lumetri color, but I haven't done anything with opacity or time remapping, so I'm just going to ignore it. The attributes that I'm removing are motion, and we're going to pretend that those are just a mistake. Okay, so that went back. It still has color correction on it. And you could put this same color correction on every clip, but just keep in mind that it's going to go double on this clip. So if you wanted to do the A and select everything, be mindful that this is going to get a double color correction. It's going to be boosted twice. So in this case, I would select them individually and do them like that. But so your whole movie can have, say paste attributes and everything goes on it if you were to choose it, to choose it that way. Or remove attributes. You regret doing anything to your movie at all, and you want to just start with a clean slate. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on pasting and removing attributes in Premiere Pro. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.